we use a lot of acronyms in medicine, and sometimes we forget to explain what they mean. You may have heard of PCOS or PCOS. This stands for polycystic ovary syndrome. How do you know if your teen might have it? The symptoms of PCOS in teens might include missed periods, irregular periods, or very light periods, excess body hair, including on the chest, the stomach, and the back. This is also called hirsutism. Weight gain, especially around the belly or the abdomen region. Acne or oily skin. Male pattern baldness or thinning hair. Small pieces of excess skin on the neck or the armpits, which are called skin tags. And dark or thick skin patches on the back of the neck and the armpits or under the breasts called acanthosis nigricans. During puberty, the androgen or male-like hormones are made in the adrenal gland and they cause underarm hair, pubic hair, and body odor to develop. In polycystic ovary syndrome, the ovaries make too many androgen hormones. The cause of PCOS is not fully understood. There are some genetic factors because PCOS does seem to run in families. Treating PCOS focuses on treatment of the specific symptoms of PCOS. Oral contraceptive pills that contain both estrogen and progesterone type hormones are often used to treat those abnormal menstrual cycles. Acne can be treated with your typical acne medications and sometimes a medication that blocks androgen called spironolactone is also used. Excess body hair is removed through cosmetic methods like shaving, waxing, or depilatories. In patients who are overweight, losing weight may decrease insulin resistance and improve the signs and symptoms of PCOS. People with PCOS may not ovulate or release eggs from the ovaries regularly. Because of this, small cysts in the ovaries can develop. These can be seen on ultrasound and can help make the diagnosis in adults. For teens, however, cysts on the ultrasound are common and are not actually used to make this diagnosis. If your teen is having irregular periods, talk to your pediatrician.